A very good evening here, Rob in Cambodia, robshealthcrunch.com, www.robshealthcrunch.com. So, just a quick impromptu video as I'm out walking at uh, 5.30 p.m. this evening in Phnom Penh at the monument roundabout. This is a statue of uh, King Norodom and the monument, the independence monument is down there when uh, Cambodia became independent from France. Now, the reason I'm posting this is because I always talk about going outside to work out, right? Instead of going into the dark, dirty, dingy, dingy, hot, sweaty gym. So have a look. Here we have some prime examples, a local couple, the guy's doing like Muay Thai moves, and then someone's doing something else, just jumping around. And there's loads and loads, look how fit he is. Look how fit he is. Very fit. Very strong. Good stuff. Good. And take a look at do Muay Thai. Yeah, Kung 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 Yeah, yeah, Kung Kung Fantastic. Look how fit he is. No gym. Strong. Okay. Thank you. How old? How old are you? Um, four and three. Forty-three. Forty-three. Perfect. Forty-three and me. Who do you think? Wow. What, me? How old do you think I am? Yo, how old? Yeah. What do you think? Yo, how old? I think you you just have. Yes. Forty-eight, right? No, fifty-five. Fifty-five. Yeah. Really? We're also strong. You know. You got uh, exercise, huh? Exercise and uh, eat just uh, meat, meat, fish, seafood, eggs. No carbohydrates. Oh, no, no meat. No, no sugar, no carbohydrates. Oh, oh yeah. Just meat and, and eggs, fish. Uh, I also do kung fu. Yeah, you, you don't mind like uh, seafood, like. You know, you know, soft man. Oh. I do keto. Ninety-nine. Yeah. You know keto? Keto? Keto, keto carnivore. I only, so no bright, no rice, no bread, no sugar. Yeah, no he's off. He also like, uh, yeah. He you, no, know, you, you know, you know, you know. Sometimes he, he needs a little bit of oil, like that oil. Oh, uh, okay. Then, oh, uh, today he only eat the soup, like the vegetable and, uh, and meat. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know that? Me, me, he got, but he not, not take much. I eat a lot, a lot, I eat lots of meat, lots of meat, see if it's good, protein is good. Oh, uh, so? Yeah, protein. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know uh, the, the guy called Soft, Soft Men? The, the, at the, with the ring boxing club? Oh, uh, I, I never seen No, but, Soft Men, he's a, he's also, he's a, a yeah, club. Yeah, he also has that. Okay, great, nice to meet you guys. I'm making yeah. a video. Yeah. I'll post it. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you. The prime example. Prime example. Did you see how fit that guy was? 40, what did he say? 44, 45, 48 maybe, I can't remember. Yeah. And they, would, they, thought, they thought I was 48, that was it. But look, you've got everyone walking outside. See? Walking, walking, walking. Loads and loads of people walking this gorgeous... Sorry, I thought I could do a zoom in there, but I can't. This beautiful... Um, park at the, the, the Independence Monument Park and I walk it every time I'm in Phnom Penh too all the time morning and night so this is my second one today I was out at nine o'clock this morning a bit late but that's okay and anyway you just saw that guy he's a Kung Khmer he's basically the, the, the Cambodian version of uh, Muay Thai kickboxing and there's a big debate going on uh, well, the Cambodians say that it was invented in in Cambodia which, and they call it Kung Khmer Kung Khmer, Kung Khmer and the Thais say it's not true, it's called Muay Thai, and uh, anyway, the Thais always looked down on the Cambodians, so the Cambodians are not happy about it. So there was a big row about that, about the South, at the Southeast Asian Games last, um, when was it? Last year, here in Phnom Penh, because uh, the government, it was held for the first time in Cambodia, ever, uh, and they renamed it Kung Khmer, not, uh, Kung Khmer, not Muay Thai, right? And then that Thai didn't like that at all, so the Thai delegation, the Thai team did not show up for that event, which basically tells you everything, right? They did instead of trying to reconcile differences and just to play along, because they actually be respectful, you're in Cambodia, they call it Kung Khmer here, and that's just a fact, you know, accept it. But no, anyway, point is, look at all the people doing what I recommend you should all do. Walking, 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 walking fast and exercising in nature. And that's a point I'm so happy to see. So many people, mostly older, mostly older folks, to be honest, because they aren't as silly anymore as the younger people to waste time in the gym. 
So they're out here walking because that's they know the older people, the older generation are wiser than the younger. They know this stuff. They know that this walking it makes makes us happy and makes makes you feel better. We don't have to tell them because they are they have lived generations longer than, than most other people. So and so have I. You know, I'm in my 50s, so I've lived a lot longer than what these people in their 20s and 30s preaching about the bloody gym all the time. So look, out here you can do your best exercise. I go out and I do my push-ups, plank squats, lunges, whatever, on the, on the grass, and that's it. That's my exercise routine. And keto carnival food keeps me fit, lean, and strong, and healthy and happy. That's all you need, right? All right, Rob from Rob's Health Crunch. Talk to you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.